Hey yo, what's up everybody, Holmes here and welcome back to some more uh, Demon Souls walkthrough, real walkthrough, now uh, playthrough with my magic build. And yeah, welcome back. I don't know why I almost said Neo. But yeah, probably because I was thinking about it. Because um, they came out with a DLC, like I think 2? No, no, no. Wait, was it 2 or 1? I forgot which DLC I haven't played. I think I haven't played the sec. Uh, no, no, the last one. But I believe I played all the other ones. Uh, I could be wrong. We'll see. But yeah. Um. Anyways. <laughs> let's let's deal with this area. It's not as bad as I remembered it to be. Well. Wait. What? Whoa, don't fall down. Don't fall down there. And we got this spell right here. Or not a spell, a miracle. My bad. Regeneration. So that's going to be pretty damn awesome. Basically free healing. Dropping a boulder down. And that guy jumps down. This guy in the back as well. We can just deal with these guys with melee. No... Like, we don't really need to use um, Pyromancy for these for this part right here because these guys, they die really fast, so it just takes two shots. Drop down here. Oh, what am I stuck on? Okay. You just gotta have to, like, watch out for ambushes. That's the main thing you wanna wanna, you wanna wanna watch out for. Oh, and also these guys. The melees are they mail the melee attacks are shit, but they can poison you. So I guess that's like one thing you want to watch out for. Well, the fire ones, I don't know if they'll poison you, but the guys with little daggers, they can poison you. So you're not safe from poison. Unless, you know, you want to use... You want to use magic, what the hell? Was that the three bodies? Okay, because there's like three guys that are dead here. Or pretending to be dead. So that's that. Uh, that's where we were at. We can drop down and get those items. Uh, but first up, let's, let's kind of clear this area first. Before we take, um, take on the other area. Because this is the way we have to go, and it kind of connects. Like it could over there, it connects to over here. So I, I kind of want to clear like the enemies out before I go, just to avoid um, bullshit. <laughs> and once you come over here, that guy gets up. Yep, there's a lot of like. There's like a lot of these guys that like to play dead. And I don't know why you cannot kill them while they're playing dead. Which is a little bit annoying to me. <laughs> There's another guy approaching. Bye. I believe once you drop down here, there's, yep, there's a guy right here. And then there's two guys in the far end there, so we're just gonna blast them with Pyromancy here. We can get the perfect angle here. There we go. Over here, you can also drop down and get uh, um, more pickups. But we'll, we'll save that for later. So we're gonna clear out clear out this whole area first before we go and do the whole falling down stuff uh, especially this part right here because there's gonna be oh well, not this part it's I got it mixed up Whoop. it's the next part it's gonna be rats uh, right here you don't want to watch out because there's two guys playing dead yep, and they can poison like I say or like I said 
I'm <laughs> talking weird today. Um, yeah, if you take uh, melee hits from those guys, you can be you can just be poisoned. So do what do watch out for that. And also, fucking we got this part. Um, noble lotus because we got poisoned. These things, if you kill it with melee attack and you're close, they can also poison you. But if you kill it with fire, it cannot poison you, even if you're like right next to them. Uh, I guess the fire burns like the fucking acid away or something like that. But, yeah. If you want to avoid getting poisoned by those things, you can, like, if you're using a melee build, you can just, um, what do you call it? Um, you can use arrows, like you can use a crossbow or a bow, and you can deal with it that way, so you don't get poisoned. Or if you have uh, a fire weapon, you can deal with it with a. Uh, you can deal with them with fire, like if you have um, turpentine. Is it turpentine in this game? Pine resin. Hang on, let me check. Pine resin. There's like the regular pine resin and there's a black pine resin. This one lasts longer and I think it hits harder. So if you have those things, you can use that and you can get rid of the the bugs. But in my opinion, it's not really worth it. I would just suggest you shoot it with arrow if you're playing melee. Because these are more valuable because they're kind of pricey. And if you have enough uh, souls at this point, if you don't have uh, black pine resin, try to get a few of them. Uh, Widow's Lotus also like get a few of these as well because um, part two yeah part two of this area and part three um, there's a good chance you can get plagued and that shit's nasty it like it'll drain your health a lot faster than poison so I would recommend stock up uh, a few of those uh, Widow's Lotus and Black Pine Resin for if you want to have an easier time with the bosses. The final boss of this area is not really weak to it, but the first and the second bosses, they're pretty weak to um, fire. So right here, if you have bows or arrows, crossbows, just, you can just snipe all the rats. I feel like it's more effective if you use that than try to hit the rats with magic. That's just my personal experience when it comes to these guys. Yeah, because these guys can um, they can hit you with plague. So some real nasty shit. I don't think it's instant, but it's like a, it's a build up. It's like poison. So, yeah, be careful about that. Ooh, don't fall down. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to snipe this guy. Usually, that will get his attention. Okay, it did in this time. All right, I guess we gotta do this the hard way. Okay. Before we deal with them, let's go and grab the pickups on top. And the reason why I came here first is because, you know, you want to get rid of all the rats first before you you do the whole side area over there. Because once you drop down, you grab that item, you cross over, you grab those items. There's only one way to get back, which is you drop the plank that's there, and then you cross over to there. But if you didn't take out the rats. Um, they'll still be there and also uh, what do you call it you're gonna need to fight them <laughs> I mean I guess you can try to snipe them across but I don't know I feel like it's a little bit dangerous reason for that is cuz um if they hit you like two to three times you can just be you can just be plagued and those widows Lotus that's just expensive So unless you like you have a lot of those, I don't know. I don't think you should mess with the rats. Not with uh, melee weapons at least.
Okay, now let's go ahead and grab these extra pickups. Crescent Moongrass. Extra Souls. Another Crescent Moongrass. And I think oh, there's one right here. What's up, guys? There we go. And I believe this ups your magic defense. Yeah, it weakens your magic power, but ups your magic defense. Um, I guess that'll be useful for Tower of Latria since the. And yeah, the second boss of that area is um does a lot of magic, and I guess like the first boss as well. But we're we are we've already dealt with her, so not to worry about it. But yeah, I guess like it seems like Tower of Lotria is the only place that they really hit you with a lot of magic, and I guess. Um, the Tower Knight kind of does as well if you're playing range with that guy. Oh fuck, I forgot to go over there. <laughs> Just got too excited and moving on. Okay, um, it's over here. Damn it. Just In the PS5 version, this area is so freaking dark compared to PS3. Okay, it's right here, this plank. And be careful because once you get down there, make sure you roll back because there's two guys right in front of you. And make sure you don't roll off either because uh, that's gonna suck. I'm spamming lock on because um, that's not who I wanted to lock on, but there are some ambushes here. Like these two assholes. There's more. I think there's like one or two that's also playing dead. Yeah, that's one. Oh, there's the poison. See? Really annoying. Uh, what am I going to do? Regeneration. That's what I was going to do. And that's why I got that skill. To conserve on healing items. Uh, although I think we could have used Crescent Moongrass. Cause at this point, I don't think that's going to benefit as much. The Crescent Moongrasses. So, we came here for the Blessed Maze. Ray. I don't even know what that's good for, you know. Cause um there's no there's no skeletons or at least what I've like seen, there's no undead enemies, and usually that's what um holy items are for. Or holy weapons. Or holy attributes I should say. You hear me like clicking R3 button, like I'm just spamming lock on. Trying to like have as much distance from this guy as possible. Bye. And uh, the falling rocks, um, you can get, you can actually go up top here. There's a secret area. Uh, if your world tendency is pure white, there's gonna be a ladder right here, and then you can go up. If you take a better look, there's you can actually see the platforms up there, and then you can kind of go about. Um, I forgot what's up there. There's like, what is it? What is it? What is it? There's some like, there's a weapon. Ah, yes. <laughs> there's a weapon. There's a weapon up there that it's I guess is a unique weapon. 
which if you are planning to like platinum this game you're gonna need that at. you need to collect that weapon so that's if you're wondering like what's all this pro uh, trouble to get up there why I mean why go through all the trouble to get up there that's why And then there's another big guy on the back. And if I can hit him. Oh fuck. Yep, just just keep staring at me. <laughs> Oh, you need a shoulder to lean on, big boy. Well, not my shoulder. Get out. Get off of me. Bitch. Wait, does the corpse not burn? Oh, it does. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that was great. Okay. Uh, that should be it for enemies. What the fuck is that? That was a giant ass leech. Huh. Interesting, actually. Wow. Okay. I never really noticed that until today. There's there's leeches everywhere here. Look at that. There's more. Look at that. Wow. Very interesting. I like how these these dog corpses are movable, even though they're not an enemy in this area. More leeches. Wow, I never noticed that before, but yeah. Because the boss we're going to be facing, it's a leech boss. Uh... Okay, never noticed. I never noticed they they were already hinting that already, and you know how we're gonna take this guy on. You know it. Yep. Firestorm, and that will happen in the next episode. So I thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully this video has been entertaining or helpful or enjoyable. And if you all found at least one of those qualities in this video, then hey, stay tuned for more. But until next time, I'll catch y'all later, homes. Oh, whoops. <laughs> there we go. Oops. <laughs>